everyone, Ivy St. Ive here with an airdrop onboarding video for you all. So this tutorial video is a tutorial on how to claim your airdrop. Um, however, this is a tutorial on how to claim your airdrop if you're one of our uh, handful of community members that um, either had multiple Betanet accounts um, and need to sort of forward their rewards onto a new mainnet account, or if you're one of our unlucky community members who for some reason has a different beta net account address than a main net hub account address. Um, so you're gonna follow this flow to um, claim your airdrop, forward your rewards from beta net, and make sure that you've got all your rewards set up on the hub. So, all right. So if again, if you are a community member who has multiple beta net rewards, or for some reason your beta net address doesn't match your main net address, the first thing you're gonna to do to claim your airdrop is actually go to the Lamina One Betanet site. So this is gonna be at um, betanet.hubdemo.lamina1.com and you are going to sign in to that, any sort of Betanet address that you have. So I'm gonna start out with my um, Discord linked Betanet address to begin. From there, you'll notice that there's a new airdrop tab on the top of Betanet, um, as well as uh, the mainnet site, but you're gonna start once again in Betanet. So first of all, you're gonna hit check your airdrop. Um, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna check to see if this hub account has any rewards attached to it. So let's check. And it looks like, yep, this Betanet address has rewards inside of it um, that I'm going to want to take. So again, if your beta net address matches your Fuji address or your main net address, um, you actually don't have to do this step. You can actually just claim entirely in the hub. But again, if for some reason these addresses are different, you're actually going to want to go and you're going to want to forward your address. So that's what this video is all about. So for example, my primary address is not this. So I'm going to actually hit change address here. Um, this will allow me to forward this platform reward to a new uh, mainnet address before I complete my claim. So let's hit claim address. I'm now going to take my uh, primary wallet from Fuji and I'm going to input that address in here. I'm going to hit sign and you're going to get this signed transfer request that you can basically use to, again, transfer rewards from one uh, address to another. So I'm going to copy this and then hit go to Discord. This is going to take me to a special channel um, that uh, will provide directions. I'm going to go into this channel. I'm going to hit air backslash airdrop, uh, click on the bot, and that's going to pull up this, um, this bot that'll explain to you four commands that you can direct, interact with directly. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit, uh, for those forwarding rewards, button number three is gonna be really useful for you. So this allows you, again, to transfer your platform rewards to a new mainnet address. So I'm gonna take this. When you open this up, you will paste in that signed request that you just got from the Lamina One Hub. You're gonna hit submit. You're gonna hit set your community rewards to des destination. If there's any community rewards linked to that, you're gonna do that. Oh wait, this is invalid. Never mind. Um, and I'm gonna submit the claim to the limit to the main net hub. All right. From there, I am going to sign in with that destination wallet, right? So I just forwarded that reward. So now I'm gonna go into the wallet that I just forwarded that reward to on Fuji. Um, I'm currently in there. I'm going to check my Lamina One Hub account to see. I'm going to skip past this. And you'll see that those platform rewards that I just had just showed up in the complete claim process. So again, as you're sort of forwarding rewards back and forth, you can move kind of stuff in between different accounts. So I'm going to hit the complete claim and I'm going to hit confirm here. Now, you can actually do this with as many 
BetaNet wallets as you own um, until you have claimed every reward. So let me actually just go through that process again. You can do them all at once or you can do them one at a time, but I'm just gonna show you the process again because again, it's a little bit complicated and I wanna make sure that you guys have all the tools you need. So for example, let me say I have, ooh, I think I have another BetaNet account that might be eligible for rewards. Now there's two ways actually that you can check to see if your BetaNet account is eligible for rewards. The first way, is simply to just kind of sign in. So let me say, I'm gonna sign in with this, with my Google. So I can either check to see if this account is eligible for any rewards by going again to the airdrop page and clicking this hub account, you'll see that I am eligible or if you wanna be a little bit fancy with the airdrop bot, um, you can also copy your address in here and actually input it directly into the bot. So I'm gonna pull up the airdrop bot again. I can actually search platform rewards here. I can input this address in here and it'll show me, um, again, that this is also eligible for 1.4 platform rewards. So either way, if, however you want to do it, you can either use the bot or you can just sign in to BetaNet with any of your previous accounts to see if they're eligible for rewards before for forwarding. So again, I'm going to take you guys through this BetaNet flow one more time. Um, so as you can see, I've got 1.43 LL1 that um, are in this BetaNet account. I'm gonna forward them once again to my main mainnet account. So this is my primary wallet address here. I'm gonna hit sign, copy that signature, go to Discord, backslash airdrop command, open up the bot, and once again, hit forward platform rewards, paste in that signed request that I just had, and once again, I just forwarded that reward to my main account. Perfect. Now, I also want to show you guys in this video that you can do this multiple times before submitting the claim to the mainnet hub. So for example, say I've got tons of beta net addresses. I do. I'm a Lamina One core team member, right? Like I need a lot of addresses to test things. So. Next up, hmm, let's log in with the my Twitter linked account. I think I've got some testing XP in this one too. I'm gonna skip this for now. Always set up two-factor authentication, but when we're moving fast, we're moving fast. Um, so again, I'm gonna check to see if this account is eligible for rewards. Oh my gosh, this one is too. So again, I'm going to change this address. I'm gonna input my primary address. Hit sign, copy that, go to Discord. Pull up the airdrop bot. Forward another sign transfer request. And now you'll see that I have a couple of platform rewards. So for now, I'm going to submit that claim to the mainnet hub. See, now I have 2.5 that I just forwarded. One was like one and change, both one and change. Then I'm gonna go back to the Fuji hub or lamina1.com, depending on uh, when you're joining us in this airdrop journey. And again, let's see if those made it through. We're gonna check Discord. If you've already claimed, you can kind of skip this step um, and you're just forwarding to an account. But yeah, as you can see, those 2.5 LL1 are now in this account. Once again, I'm gonna complete the claim. And those two rewards have successfully been forwarded to my wallet. You can do this, um, you can forward rewards up to 10 times or for up to 10 accounts uh, before you reach your limit. And uh, also 
Fun fact, every time you claim uh, for the airdrop, you get a little bit of Liquid L1 added to your wallet as well to help pay for the gas of both claiming and unwrapping your tokens when they start to unlock. So yeah, that's kind of your more complicated flow for forwarding rewards. Um, you know, again, for those of you who had multiple accounts or um, for those of you whose address changed back uh, halfway between Betanet and Mainnet for some reason, um, the flow's a little bit more complicated than um, if you just had one account, but as you can see, totally doable. Um, thanks so much for the tutorial and talk to you guys later.